but it's just the fight in me that says, you know, that this is not over. And as long as I'm living, I'm going to still fight to see that justice is done. For 22 years, Mary Cook's murder has haunted her nephew-in-law, David Greeno. These are the two guys that was on the crime scene when this happened. Neighbors found the 83-year-old raped, beaten, and strangled in her bed. 77-year-old Greeno will never forget identifying Cook's body. Policeman took us in, and, and uh, it was very, very bad situation. It wasn't something you want to see every day of an 83-year-old lady. According to Greeno, investigators had two pieces of DNA evidence belonging to two different suspects. 18 years passed. In 2008, a break, a DNA match. Police charged then 37-year-old James Hollis with complicity to murder and complicity to rape. Greeno says Hollis's pubic hair was found in Cook's bed. Cook's granddaughter spoke to NBC4 in 2008. This is uh, the beginning of an end for the family. My grandmother was a, a wonderful, caring, giving uh, member of this, active member of this community. Despite Hollis's arrest, Greeno says a killer is still loose. He wants a DNA match for the second suspect. According to Greeno, that evidence is saliva from a bite mark on Cook's breast. There's people out there that still, in my mind, that is still responsible for being there that night. The fight for justice is harder now. Greeno's wife, Audrey, is Mary Cook's niece. Audrey now has Alzheimer's. Greeno says he will never give up. But we're still here. We're still mourning this lady's death. We'll never forget this, what happened to her. And we're not going away. Reporting in Circleville, Nadia Bashir, NBC4.